Hello and welcome to our event on Secure Your Sensitive Microsoft 365 Data from Cyber Attacks. Today's webinar is sponsored by Rubrik and Microsoft and produced by Actual Tech Media. My name is Scott Becker. I'm from Actual Tech Media and I'm excited to be your moderator for this special event. Now, before we get to today's great content, we do have a few housekeeping items that will help you get the most out of this session. First off, we want this to be an informative event for you, so we encourage any questions in the questions box in your webinar control panel. While we won't have a live Q&A session during this event, we will pass along any questions you have to the rubric team for follow-up. Um, it's also a place just to say hello, and the hellos have been flooding in today from uh, everywhere, from Wisconsin, from Atlanta, from Brentwood, Tennessee. Uh, we'd love to see where you guys are all logging in from and uh, and so keep them coming. Uh, also in that Q&A panel, uh, just let us know there if you have any technical issues. A browser refresh is gonna fix most audio, video, or slide advancement issues, but if that doesn't work, just let us know in the Q&A and it will provide further technical assistance. Now second, in the handout section of your webinar control panel, you'll find that we're offering several resources and I'd especially like to call your attention to uh, a link to find out more from Rubrik. You can also find links in there to some actual tech media resources like our decisions group in the events calendar. So I encourage you to access those resources now and share them with your friends and colleagues. Now third, at the end of this webinar event, we will be awarding a $250 Amazon gift card to one lucky registrant. Of course, you must be in attendance during the live event to qualify for the prize. Official terms and conditions of today's prize drawing can be found also in the handout section. Just scroll to the bottom and you'll find the prize terms and conditions link there. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get to today's presentations and demos. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to our set of presenters today. We've got a, a great panel of people here from Rubrik. So Kim Lambert is going to lead the discussion. She's a principal product marketing manager at Rubrik. We also have Eddie Luzlowski, who is the Microsoft and SaaS GTM lead for Rubrik. And we have Mike Preston, who's a technical marketing architect for Rubrik. So Kim, I'm gonna turn things over to you. The floor is yours. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here today. So yes, we're here to talk about how to secure and recover your most sensitive data from cyber attack. And we'll focus more specifically here on Microsoft 365 data within this session. So today, here's what I want you to walk away with knowing if, if nothing else is number one, how protecting your critical data in Microsoft 365 can help you manage and reduce your sensitive data risk. Um, why simple data backup is not the same as cyber recovery, number two. And then number three, how to help keep your Microsoft 365 data protected in both peacetime and in wartime, so when a cyber event is actually happening. So let's jump right in. Now, we all know that all it takes is just one employee clicking on one phishing email and you know, just to let a bad actor into your environment. And once they're in, malicious actors are now even trying to impact legacy backup copies to further impact your ability to recover. So in many cases, not only do they have your production data, but your backup data as well. And we know that legacy backup systems can not only be complex, so requiring a lot of uh, management time from dedicated teams, um, contributing to high total cost of ownership, but also legacy backup and tool sets were never really designed to actually help deal with a bad actor behind a firewall. So many of pretty large surface areas, they're using legacy methodologies hanging the backups um, off the network so everyone can have access, which isn't the best idea in today's day and age, um, using things like Windows-based backup appliances, perhaps not the best level of protection. On top of it, many organizations, because of this large surface area they need to protect, they aren't enforcing MFA, multi-factor authentication, or TOTP, uh, time-based one-time passwords, across their entire stack. So. Some elements may have it, um, but overall, when we talk to customers, we're finding a lot of times that it's actually pretty poorly enforced. So this brings forth some questions and the realization that data backup is not the same as data recovery. 
Now, the biggest issue nowadays actually goes beyond basic operational recovery from backup data, um, where you know, back in the day, you always knew what happened um, or some attributes about, about the recovery that needed to happen. So like if you lost an entire data center in the middle of the night, now you're dealing with third parties where it's not clear at all, all the things that they may be and are doing to your data once they're in your environment. So many times you don't even know where to begin for recovery. Um, what did they hit? Uh, what do you even know to recover? Bad actors are, are even practicing double extortion attacks nowadays. So they're exfiltrating data and then holding it hostage against you. Then you've got the really hard challenge of them lurking in your environment for weeks or months. And that's the dwell time. And, you know, according to Mandiant, research for Mandiant, the current typical malware dwell time actually stands at 16 days globally. So you want to make sure in that case that if you're recovering, you're not just recovering malware back into your environment by recovering to a time when the malware had already gotten in. You know, that's that's kind of a pointless thing to do. And the complexity here is actually making backup and recovery now front page news. So if I'm in your shoes... It brings questions to me to the forefront, like, can I test my recoverability? Can I prove it? How fast can I actually get back up and running? Because lengthy backup and re recovery times can compromise data availability, number one, but you know, be thinking in terms of a lack of proper security also leaves my business data vulnerable to ransomware and, and other attacks. Um, and this will make it pretty difficult, really, to, to prove to my board, to my internal audit teams, my organizational leadership, um, or even my cyber insurance provider, um, that our organization is cyber resilient. So that's what I'm thinking if I, if I were you. So moving to the cloud and adopting more SaaS applications, of course, this makes the surface area for attacks even larger, um, more complex. Uh, maybe I've got data across cloud native workloads in uh, GCP and Azure, AWS, um, and in SaaS based workloads like Microsoft 365, which um, also have, of course, become a prime target for bad actors. They know that that data is super important and it can bring a company to its knees. And that's because Microsoft 365, now more than ever, is a tier one data source, right? So I think it's worth calling out, you know, for those in the back that, that haven't heard it before, the shared responsibility model, it still comes into play here with Microsoft 365. And by that, I, I mean, Microsoft is responsible for keeping its cloud functional. They're responsible for most notably the uptime of their service, data replication, having some short-term data loss recovery capabilities with their native tools, um, infrastructure level security, um, regulatory responsibilities as, as a data processor. But Microsoft subscribers, that's you, <laughs> are responsible for protecting the data that they create within Microsoft 365 Cloud. So keeping a separate backup copy of your data, um, point in time recovery with, with long-term retention, um, being able to address data security issues um, like deletions because of, of human error, uh, malicious insiders, um, outside attacks from hackers, plus being able to meet legal and compliance demands and, and any other particular industry regulations you may have in terms of being able to know where your sensitive data resides and who has access to it. Now, I will mention that Rubrik is working alongside Microsoft um, as they start to become more active participants in helping customers protect their data, um, active participants in the shared responsibility model. Um, and they've even announced an upcoming backup solution uh, provided by Microsoft expected in 2024. And they went into a, a lot more detail about this at the latest Microsoft Ignite conference. Um, but the solution is just limited to large amounts of Microsoft 365 data. Um, you know, no other data sets, and they're going to call it simply Microsoft 365 Backup. But this solution's capabilities, this upcoming solution that, that will be coming out in the market, um, is actually something that Rubrik has been working on them with, too, and it's something we'll offer within our own platform using Microsoft APIs. And this will be an option for some of our, our largest customers where high-speed uh, backup and, and recovery is a priority. So I did want to make sure I, I pointed that out because 
um, a lot of times when we're, we're talking to customers or prospects, that's one of the first questions. They, they've heard a, you know, a little tidbit, something in the market uh, about this. So I wanted to, to get ahead of that for you guys. Um, and for these, these large enterprises, being able to recover from accidental deletion or other human error as fast as possible it, it is sometimes what's paramount for them. So um, this solution that Microsoft will be able to provide and that and that Rubrik can provide a, as an um, independent software vendor is actually not logically air-gapped by design, as, as that's one of the ways that Microsoft is actually able to enable this super high-speed recovery at scale. So we are happy to go into more detail uh, with you one-on-one -on -one about how Rubrik will be able to, to deliver this solution um, to back up and restore maybe some or all of your Microsoft 365 data, if, if that's of, of interest to you. Um, but for this session uh, specifically, I wanted to talk even more so beyond just mass recovery at scale, um, you know, from something like, like accidental deletion. Um, when we're talking about cyber attacks, that's when it's not really a bad idea to have a secure air gut back, backup solution in place, especially for your most sensitive files. And that's, of course, something we also offer with Rubrik, and we offer that today. Because think about what would happen if your Microsoft 365 data was hit by, say, ransomware or a rogue deletion of critical data. Because there seems to be new threats to Microsoft 365 uh, in particular being discovered all the time. Um, especially when it comes to exploiting vulnerabilities um, and threat actors launching new phishing attacks, right? So despite a lot of organizations having seen email breaches um, or ATO attacks, uh, account takeovers, in almost half of all cyber attack cases, the organization actually didn't have an immutable, um, meaning a, a, a reliable, unable to be manipulated or, or deleted backup to restore from. So that's a huge problem. If, if you're trying to successfully recover from a cyber attack, uh, like some of these headlines that, that you see in the news. So at Rubrik, we have not only amazing technology, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, of course, um, and a great partnership with Microsoft, um, with Microsoft actually as a strategic investor um, in Rubrik. Um, but we also have divisions within our organization that are dedicated to understanding What's next out there? What are threat actors doing now? Um, like through our Zero Labs research group, that's something we have internally. Um, we're also helping customers uh, and organizations respond to ransomware attacks through our ransomware response team. We've learned a lot about attacks that take place through this, you know, this this one on one with customers, specifically against SaaS apps like M365. And if you look at the way that these attacks play out, and I love looking at this too, just, just visually to, to walk you through this. It's one of the, the easiest ways to understand it. If you look at the way these attacks play out and the increase that's happening today in password compromising actions taking place, that's, that's up astronomically right now. It's largely, largely through social engineering tactics. And it's not that threat actors are breaking in you know, we're saying right now they're not—they're not breaking in. They're actually logging in. <laughs> That's how they're getting—they're getting in. They have those compromised credentials, so they're getting you to click on something that you're not supposed to. They're getting you to give access to data points that you're not supposed to. And the threat actors are trying to figure out ways in which they can traverse your network and try to get access to administrative capabilities within your environment. And that's why things like. Microsoft's purview technologies are so important. You know, you may be using things like that to help you understand what users are doing, how they're interacting with data inside the environment. But this is ultimately what they're trying to do. And once they get access, actions are around data exfiltration or around data deletion, encryption of data, because double extortion attempts within Microsoft 365 or any environment where threat actors can get access to data is around trying to exfiltrate that content and to say, okay, as we leave this environment, we're we're deleting or encrypting data on the way out just to make sure that that attack is most impactful. Um, and we're gonna require then that double extortion payment from you. So when you receive that ransom note, like in a ransomware scenario, our ability to recover natively within some of the native Microsoft technologies today 
you know, as, you know, as an enterprise organization, you're thinking about that, it can still be fairly limited right now, right? So because these tools were designed to understand what data you have in your environment to determine how long it should live there um, and getting more into litigation hold, records management, e-discovery types of tooling. But these capabilities were, were not really designed for recovery of data, right? So in the current landscape, as these attacks play out, having a defense in depth, multi-layered strategy, strategy around data protection um, for your diverse data environments is critical. You, know, you, can, you can try to, uh, to do best effort recovery um, for some of these things, but ultimately it is your responsibility. A lot of times we see customers end up paying the ransom in a ransomware uh, scenario. Um, and then also a lot of times cloud and data center is simultaneously breached as well. So we talk to a lot of folks out there in the market where, where this has happened to them. So now in this scenario that just played out, you saw that on the screen, we have to be looking closely at, at two things that, that I talked about. So the first of which is if we have deletion or encryption events where data is destroyed, um, we have to have mechanisms to be able to recover. And Rubrik is famous for saying uh, this in the market, backup is not equal to cyber recovery, All right? We talked about that it's, uh, at the beginning. So being able to have this comprehensive approach to how we get data back up and running, um, because within the data, while extremely important, is but one but one portion in terms of backup and recovery. You know, just, just that data is one component. So the other part to be thinking of is actually the identities of those users that have the ability to be compromised as well. So think about Azure AD. Um, now that's called Microsoft Intra ID. That's what Microsoft is, is calling that now. And if we have those credentials being compromised, threat actors are um, deleting or manipulating what users had access to. So also having an ability to recover identities and users is also crucial. And the other part is, Data exfiltration is what threat actors are doing, right? So you have to have a secure data posture, um, thinking about who is accessing that information, the activity users are taking with access to that data, so that you can be more proactive using that information from your backups to get ahead of a data exfiltration attempt. And having these two types of, of strategies in place is critical for you and looking at protecting SaaS data um, or any other information that exists across the enterprise. And luckily, here's where Rubrik comes in. So with Rubrik Security Cloud, that's our secure data security platform, we can centralize data management and automate protection for your valuable structured, your unstructured data like Microsoft 365. Um, so it's across enterprise, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, SaaS, um, all in a single platform. And we can help you recover fast with data backups that are natively immutable, um, not susceptible to manual misconfiguration. So you can continue to run core operations in the event of Microsoft 365 data loss um, with uninterrupted access to your communications within Microsoft Teams, being able to talk to everybody there, um, important documents in OneDrive, SharePoint information, um, exchange data as well. All of that are our core business operations you don't want to lose, right? So Rubrik Security Cloud is, is an air-gapped, immutable data platform that's not susceptible to manual misconfigurations. So you can ensure recovery while scaling your data security operations and at the same time meeting any security and, and government's regulations as well. So you can continue to run all of those M365 core processes that you use every day. Um, and that's what can put organizations at, at risk for, for you know, business continuity. And at the same time, you can also, with these backups, continually analyze your backup data, um, time series data of what's been going on in your environment. Um, so you can not only be more resilient to bad actors getting in, so you can ensure that those mission critical workloads are, are accessible when you need them you know, with automated cloud ready backup and, and policy based protection but also use things like AI and, and machine learning to understand what sensitive data lives in your Microsoft 365 data and beyond. 
So for multiple workloads uh, across your environment, you know, we're even using machine learning to monitor for data anomalies, um, encryption events to tell you how to drive a recovery in the first place. We can help you more easily keep track of sensitive data with our functionality called sensitive data monitoring. So in that peacetime scenario that I mentioned up at the front, um, but also tell you what confidential data you have and where it lives in a cyber event sort of scenario and who has access to it. So that can really help you better respond to attacks um, to better report out to the authorities when it's wartime, you know, when, a, when a cyber event has taken place. We even actually have a partnership and integration with Zscaler um, to scan for sensitive data out of band from production systems where um, those insights can be used to, to identify files that your DLP, your um, data loss prevention um, uh, systems should use to, to more accurately enforce your data protection policies. And also, I'll say that since Rubrik acquired a company called Laminar, um, we'll soon even be able to help eliminate privilege creep and, you know, and help identify anomalous user activity to help further reduce that data exfiltration risk. So we can even help you do threat hunts on hidden copies of data um, and quarantine those, those bad files so you don't have to recover them back into production. And this is very difficult to do, by the way, with legacy backup, you know, without extra storage in, in a clean data environment, um, recovering all your data, scanning against it, and hopefully finding the malware files in the first place. So you know, that can make legacy backup, again, a, a really painful um, and potentially very visible experience in the news. So on top of that, we can give you a full-on risk assessment. We can observe in real time what your threat level is against your backup data. Um, we can also help you test recoverability and, and prove to your board of directors, you know, that your growing organization is, is resilient against cyber attacks. And we can even simulate and retest recoveries so that when an actual attack happens with Rubrik Security Cloud, Cloud in place, this isn't the first time that you've run through the recovery. You know what to do. Um, you're ready to do it. You're prepared. Rubrik has helped you with that. So when you look at rubric data protection for Microsoft 365 in particular, um, it, within rubric security cloud, it's secure by design, right? So we've got an air gap, right? To prevent discovery access or, or compromise of, of your data. We've got access control at every level. So you're preventing unauthorized account compromise um, through you know, granular role-based access controls and, and credentials um, protected by um, mandatory natively enforced MFA, TOTP for all user logins, um, the immutability by design. So you're preventing unauthorized read, change, encryption, um, deletion of data by storing that data in a proprietary format and verifying it constantly with data integrity checks as well. Got zero trust uh, retention locks. So preventing anyone from um, removing or, or resetting retention policies through uh, malicious expiration, um, cluster resets, retention SLA modification. Um, we've got encryption key rotation to, to help you reduce the risk of sensitive data compromise uh, with that as well. So all sorts of things secure by design throughout for our entire platform for Microsoft 365 as well. Just wanted to point that out. I've been talking a lot. So <laughs> enough talk. How about that? Um, let's show. Now, so I'm going to actually show you a demo um, with the help of Eddie, uh, uh, Eddie Wilsowski, our, our resident uh, Microsoft and Microsoft 365 expert. And he's going to be talking about our rubric data protection for Microsoft 365 in a short demo. So let's see what, what the solution actually looks like. So take it away, Eddie. Here, the Rubrik Security Cloud uh, has the ability to manage a number of different assets and technologies uh, across the enterprise. Here, we're more specifically focused on 365, and as you'll see here in the in the uh, dashboard or home screen here, there are a number of pretty critical data points that we're giving you access to from an interface perspective. Uh, 
So being able to understand in terms of Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams, what data is being protected and what is the SLA domain that we have assigned to them. And an SLA domain in terms of the rubric solution is more around how often are we taking backups of data across which applications and how long are we retaining them. And we build in certain policies based on the criticality of information and change rates of that, that content. We also manage uh, just above here in terms of compliance, the jobs that we're running, are we capturing all of the data? Are, is there content that's potentially missing? Or do we have a job that is potentially paused based on potentially uh, something on the back end with Microsoft uh, in terms of our connection that we're waiting on or waiting to finish? As well as giving you an overview of the storage of how much data we're protecting and helping you understand if the 365 service is up and running and available for our technology to manage. So I talked about the simplicity of the product. We simply have the ability to go through and index all of the data across these workloads and be able to assign these specific workloads, these SLA domains that I talked about, essentially protection schedules for the data. So giving you mechanisms to be able to select specific workloads in 365 and dependent on that workload and the criticality and change rates being able to, to uh, ultimately apply this type of protection. If Exchange, as an example, is a very fluid application that changes uh, quite frequently, maybe we'll, we want to back that up every four hours, as an example, and we want to do that over 30 days. It's just as simple as that to be able to apply these policies based on the workload to ensure that we're protecting the most critical data that exists in the environment. We're simply giving this a name and we can apply this again at exchange or we can apply this within specific users that exist inside of the environment. So if you have groups of users that are potentially more critical to the organization or SharePoint sites that are a little bit more critical to an organization or Teams data, we have the ability to apply the same types of protection across that from a granular level. So super simple, super straightforward in terms of the interaction with the rubric security cloud and recovery of information is extremely simple as well. Whether it is a user, whether it is a document that exists in SharePoint, the process is all the same. Simply being able to select the user or the data point that we want to recover, going in and selecting a checkbox that's denoted where we've taken our last backup and simply being able to select recovery. And dependent on the asset that we're backing up or the data that we're ultimately recovering, giving you that, that flexibility and capability to recover at a higher level or even to drill down into specific uh, user containers and files or folders to be able to recover specific information. And when we select the recovery process, giving you the flexibility to restore that to the original location, to another location, projects change, folks change roles, or if we want to be able to download this directly from the application, having the ability to do that. So even if 365 potentially is down and there's an outage, or we don't want to go through the recovery process, but we want to just get this data as quickly as possible, you have that flexibility here in terms of the, the rubric security. Awesome. All right. Thanks to Eddie for that. So it talks a lot about sensitive data monitoring before Eddie's demo. And, and, and that's a real benefit of, of the rubric Microsoft, Microsoft 365 solution today. So I think we'll, it'll be really helpful for you to also see that functionality specifically um, within Microsoft 365 data protection as well. And for that, I'm going to show you part of a demo from our technical marketing architect, Mike Preston. And I'm going to play that for you now as, you know, as Mike uh, in this, this demo um, starts transitioning in his own demo from talking about our data protection as a whole, kind of like Eddie did um, for Microsoft 365, um, but transitioning over to sensitive data specifically um, as, as an added feature for monitoring that. So let's watch Mike talk about this. Often there's more questions that organizations want answers to before we begin recovery. Things like, do any of these exploited files and folders contain sensitive data? What classification of data did they contain? 
And has any of our customer data been exploited through this attack? Thankfully, Rubrik has the answers to these questions as well. Let's now move into our sensitive data monitoring and classification service. Here's my OneDrive account listed here again in the list. And just like before, we can drill into this folder structure and see where our sensitive data lies within that OneDrive account. In this case, this file shares folder. Here we can see that a number of files within the file shares folder did indeed contain sensitive information. We can see that we have a total of 75 sensitive hits with the majority of them being flagged as USPII. We can also see the actual individual file names hosting that sensitive data. In this case, it looks as if an Excel spreadsheet containing some personal identifiable information exists within this account. By pointing out the sensitive data within our OneDrive accounts directly after the backups are completed, customers can take valuable proactive steps to secure their accounts, mitigating the impact of any attacks should they actually occur ensuring that sensitive data only exists within the OneDrive and SharePoint locations where it should be. And it's not just personally identifiable information that we scan for. As you can see, we have over 50 pre-built analyzers that scan for anything from financial information, to credit card data, to connection string information. And customers can easily add custom analyzers by defining either regular expressions or dictionaries. So the possibilities here are essentially endless. You simply create a policy containing the analyzers you wish to scan for, assign that policy to a OneDrive account or SharePoint site, and Rubrik will automatically scan each backup as they're taken, reporting to and alerting on any sensitive information back. Awesome, okay, so thanks to Mike Preston, our, our resident technical marketing uh, uh, person for that. So at Rubrik, you know, we're proud to offer such in-depth data security services for Microsoft products like Microsoft 365. And, and that really comes from our strong partnership um, that Rubrik has with Microsoft. So um, building on their threat prevention and data uh, governance capabilities and, and going beyond that to offer data security and cyber recovery for your most critical data. So to wrap up, Lot covered a lot today. What does this mean for you as a as a Microsoft customer? And if you're uh, going to work with Rubrik, well, with Rubrik, you've got the guaranteed ability to recover your data when you need it from a reliable backup. Um, you've got a single management interface, single look at you know how protected is my data across environments. You've got the ability to create a plan, to test a plan, to demonstrate a plan on an ongoing basis to to show your cyber resilience. Um, you have better visibility with the insights you need to make better decisions and, and to derive the fastest recovery possible for your data. And plus, as you look at all the dollars spent over the next few years on, you know, maybe some of the systems, the legacy systems that you have in place today, um, including the cyber insurance impact, um, generally, we can help customers, you know, buy down or, or completely cover the costs of, of any legacy upgrades to, to rubric. So um, we can do that while also meeting um, some of your IT consolidation, your automation initiatives, um, your cloud and SaaS acceleration goals as well. But don't just take my word for it. Um, you know, I will show you this. One of our latest Microsoft 365 customer use cases actually came up at Microsoft Ignite. And I did want to show you a, a brief clip uh, there from the chief information officer of, of Georgia Banking Company. Um, that's one of the fastest growing community banks in, in the nation. And uh, this customer was interviewed recently by the Microsoft team themselves about their experience with Rubrik and Microsoft 365. So let's take a look here. Hello everyone. I have an exciting story to share with you and I'd like to introduce you to Neil. Neil, will you introduce yourself to our viewers? Absolutely, it's a pleasure. My name is Neil Nadick and I'm the Chief Information Officer for Georgia Banking Company. I was brought on uh, in 2021 to grow the bank from $600 million to the $1.6 billion that we are today. Ooh, that's very impressive. But I know that when you come on and take on a big job like that, there's a lot of strategies, a lot of concerns. I want to focus today on data protection, data security, things of that nature. Uh, how were you sleeping when you first started? Ooh, it was rough. We had a, an older data.
data center, uh, and we struggled to, to make sure that it was able to support our business needs. Uh, and ultimately, we partnered up with Microsoft uh, using M365 and Azure specifically, uh, and we selected backup uh, providers such as Rubrik to help assist with some of the data storage needs. That's fantastic. So you're, you're talking about data storage. Uh, help me understand some of the capabilities there and, and what, what you were thinking as you were making that selection. I know that we have so many issues now with regard to cybersecurity. You had to have some specific concerns being that you're in financial services. Without a doubt. Um, for us, it was really important that we actually not have the ability to change, modify, delete the data sets that we had from our backups. Uh, so with that, we wanted to make sure that they didn't live in our tenant or in our infrastructure. So as we were going through partner selection, it was imperative that they store that data within their organization. Uh, ultimately, we selected Rubrik because of their ability to tie directly into the Microsoft stack and separate the ability to control that data. Uh, that, so that's a little counterintuitive for folks who may not be familiar with these specific kinds of threats. You actually wanted to create an air gap between you and the backup data. Is that, is that right? Yeah, without a doubt. We knew that if, uh, if a senior account were to be compromised, we needed to make sure that they didn't have the ability to delete the backup sets, and, and that digital air gap was the way to accomplish that. Yeah, exactly. But how did that impact the user experience? Really not at all. The users have no idea uh, that whole implementation. They work seamlessly and it's never an issue for them. Um, we actually had a scenario where we incorrectly set a retention policy which deleted files that were older than a specific date uh, from within all of their teams. And uh, ultimately we were able to leverage rubric to go back and recover all of those files uh, and of course correct the retention policy. Ah, well I bet you were able to exhale when that happened. You have a variety of pieces of your business though. Um, what about the B2B components? How does it affect that? Absolutely. We have an arm of our organization which focuses on uh, high volume ACH payments and a lot of their customers are, for instance, payroll companies. Uh, and with that, it's imperative that we're up uh, all the time and to make sure that if we do have any issues, we can recover from those quickly. So we leverage the technology from the M365 stack, Microsoft Azure solutions, and of course, the rubric stack to make sure that the, the availability of those resources is there. Well, now here's the million dollar question. Do you actually sleep better at night now? Gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important though. I mean, you need to have confidence in the strategy and the partners that you pick because, you know, you're on the hook to deliver these, these business capabilities. Without a doubt, you know, end user experience was really important to us and we needed to make sure that users can work from anywhere, no matter what device they had. Uh, so leveraging M365, we intune and enroll all of their devices, which gives them the capability to access our data securely, regardless of where they are. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Well, I, I love to see a good technology strategy get implemented well. So congratulations for your partnership with Rubrik and everything you're bringing to your user community. That's fantastic. Awesome. So here's one more of our, our joint uh, rubric and, and Microsoft customers. Um, there's actually a video on the website too, if you wanted to check this out, but I just thought it was a really interesting story and I wanted to share it with you all. Um, this is Dan Gallivan. He's the director of IT at Payette, and that's an award-winning global architecture firm. So Payette's architects, they design cutting edge science centers, um, world-changing hospitals, cancer treatment facilities, and so for Dan, every IT leader's worst nightmare actually occurred one Saturday morning for him. Um, now, Payette has exponential uh, growing amounts of, of project data. They've got images, they've got photography, videos capturing the construction process for so many clients. So all that data needs to be captured. So that meant losing access to their Microsoft 365 data would halt everything. So collaboration across teams, clients, consultants, missing deadlines. And what they thought at first was maybe a, a routine power disruption was, was something they quickly realized was, was very different. So their suspicion that they were under cyber attack was quickly confirmed. But I wanted to show you with Rubrik, after being attacked on a Saturday, they were back up and running before Monday morning with no business impact. Wow. Right. So according to Dan, uh, Payette was just really confident in, in their data protection with Rubrik. Um, Rubrik made it easy to, to do instant recovery and restore, and, and they were able to put things right back online. Um, so Rubrik helped save them from, uh, you know, from uh, from paying the ransom in this scenario. You know, their team never even thought about paying it. And without Rubrik, you know, the 
the repercussions could have been catastrophic. So, you know, dollars of uh, per hour of billings, yes, but also the construction deadlines miss and, and, and client reputation with, with lost faith in their services, right? Um, and I think that can apply to just so many of you out there. So Dan said that without rubric, you know, it would have taken weeks or, or months to get everything back up and running. Now, we feel so strongly about helping customers like these become cyber resilient that we have a $10 million ransomware recovery warranty if you can't recover. Um, obviously, there's some terms and, and conditions associated with that. But, you know, wow, what a testament to, to show, uh, you know, how sure we are that we can help restore your data and attack. Um, on top of that, I, I talked earlier about our 24-7 ransomware response team, and, and that's a free service that's dedicated to helping you recover from, from cyber attack. Um, we've got the cutting edge research team. I also talked about um, Zero Labs that helps us stay on top of all of those cybersecurity trends. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll make the, their latest report actually available to the audience today. But hopefully this gave you some insight into who we are at Rubrik, how we can protect your data across Microsoft 365 um, and beyond um, as a data security company. So offering more than just backups, um, but also critical data monitoring of, of your most sensitive assets to keep that data safe, keep it recoverable. So our team looks forward to connecting with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks, everyone. All right, and thanks, Kim, and uh, and and the uh, the rest of the Rubric team for uh, this really informative presentation, and uh, we really appreciate your time today. And before we wrap up, we do have one more piece of business. It's the Amazon gift card prize drawing, and our winner of the two hundred and fifty dollars Amazon gift card today is Nikoi Morrison from Wisconsin. So congratulations to Nikoi Morrison. We'll be in touch about getting you your card, and with that. On behalf of the actual tech media team, I want to thank Rubrik and Microsoft for making this event possible. And thanks as always for attending. For those of you who asked questions, we will be passing all of those along to the Rubrik team for, uh, for potential follow-up. That's going to conclude today's event. Have a fantastic rest of your day.